good afternoon hello everyone uh, this is uh, Rahan Mahmud uh, today in my uh, lecture I'll show you the overall bacterial structures uh, here I'm going to draw a typical structure of uh, bacteria and I'm uh, trying to use here three different colors uh, uh, because it will help you a lot uh, to learn every components uh, separately so here is on more uh, left and uh, this all about the uh, three structures uh, of bacteria and first of all I'm talking about the outer uh, most layer and this is called envelope and uh, it's uh, found in uh, some of the bacterial species but not all it uh, helps the bacteria uh, to uh, to protect from outer hampers inside the bacterial uh, cell envelope uh, there is a very rigid structure and which is called bacterial cell wall and the function of bacterial cell wall uh, is to uh, is to give a definite shape of this bacteria and uh, this cell wall is uh, composed of uh, two types of structural materials uh, the first one is called peptidoglycan and the second one is uh, lipopolysaccharide based on these two types of structural material bacterial cell wall can be divided into two classes the first one is gram positive bacteria and the second one is gram-negative bacteria and the gram-positive bacteria uh, which uh, which has a very thick peptidoglycan uh, cell wall and the gram-negative bacteria uh, which has a lipopolysaccharide uh, layer inside the bacterial uh, cell wall uh, there is a bilayer membrane and uh, it's uh, called plasma membrane or oh, and is another name is called uh, cytoplasmic membrane or also is called cell membrane and it's composed by two types of uh, uh, components and this is called lipopolysaccharide lipopo lipoprotein and that is lipid and protein and uh, uh, in the bacterial cell surface we can see a uh, very special uh, types of uh, structures which is uh, filamentous and uh, it's called uh, bacterial uh, flagellum and uh, it helps the bacteria to uh, move uh, from one place to another another very small uh, uh, types of structures uh, uh, like uh, bacterial flagella we see uh, this is uh, uh, called uh, fimbri uh, or also pili and uh, its function is to transfer genetic materials from one species to another <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and uh, and here uh, we can see inside the bacterial cell uh, very uh, circular types of structures and uh, this is called uh, bacterial plasmid uh, it's a extra chromosome DNA and its function is to uh, help in genetic engineering and uh, it transfer the uh, genetic materials from parents to offspring inside the bacterial uh, cell uh, we see uh, thread like sub structures and uh, this is called bacterial chromosome and uh, its function uh, to to hold the DNA materials uh, in, in the surfaces like a plate inside the bacterial uh, bacterial cell membrane uh, we see uh, very small organelles uh, and uh, uh, in every uh, in most of the sites and um, this is uh, called bacterial uh, ribosome and uh, 
it is the site for uh, bacterial uh, protein synthesis because here bacterial uh, RNA and protein exist together. So uh, we, we see uh, here uh, all the organelles like plasmid, ribosomes, uh, uh, chromosomes, all these uh, small organelles uh, uh, in this uh, in this bacterial uh, in inside the bacterial cell membrane uh, is uh, is hold to together uh, by helping uh, a special types of organelles and which is called uh, bacterial cytoplasms. It's a, a semi solid and uh, and a jelly like sort of structures, uh, this, uh, these structures we can see here, it's a jelly like, and it holds all these uh, small organelles inside the uh, cell, uh, cell, and it's, uh, it's called bacterial uh, cytoplasm. Uh, so it's all about the bacterial uh, cell structures. Uh, next time I'll tell you about, about different types of bacteria and also the bacterial flagella so thank you everyone for watching my uh, video next time uh, i hope uh, i will uh, tell you a lot about these uh, sectors